Welcome back to It's Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a little video today from Del Mar, man. Uh, it's just a little video of uh, how a man becomes red pilled or black pilled, tell you the truth. Uh, this is actually just a little good story. I, I enjoyed it back in the day, like a few years back when I first saw it. So I thought it'd be a nice one to share. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. Let's, let's get to the chow. It's chow time. Yeah, before I start, I think uh, this resonates with a lot of men. I think most men start off like this guy, and then uh, they grow to be what most men are now in the, this community. So, Oh, baby. I'm so excited. I think I know what it is. You know I how know badly I wanted is. this bag. I want you to have everything you want in life, babe. <clears throat> Wait, what is this? Kate Spade? Oh, I can't no. be caught wearing Kate Spade. I told you I wanted a Louis Vuitton bag. I Louis know, Vuitton but Bella, bag. things are pretty tight right now. Baby, I promise, once my business takes off, I'll buy you any bag you want. Just Look, this guy's still struggling with his business and still buys his girl a bag. I mean, it ain't the Louis Vuitton bag that she wanted, but Kate Spade is decently expensive, I think. So, I mean, it ain't no Louis Vuitton, but it's still a decent bag. And just for her to just, just ungratefulness. Just have some faith in me, please. Whatever. That stupid idea of yours, it's never going to take off. I won't be caught dead wearing a cheap bag like this. See, at that moment there, I think most men that are red-pilled now would have just fucking walked away. But... You know, this guy being blue pilled and just how society kind of raised him. He he thinks that this is the best he can do. You can kind of tell by how she treats him and how he kind of still puts her on a pedestal. Anyway, I'm hungry. Let's go. These actors are pretty good. Like this guy's emotions <laughs> look pretty hurt. <laughs> Okay, so what do you feel like eating? So I'm craving steak and wine. What the fuck? I don't know how long these guys have been going out, but to, to say I'm craving steak and wine, ah, that's entitled for sure, huh? I think a lot of women get to choose whatever they want without having to worry about prices or um the repercussion in their wallets oh um i was thinking maybe something a little less expensive how about denny's denny see this guy at least he tries to stand up for himself and tries to do things but obviously she's the more dominant one and so yes. are you kidding you're gonna take me, a girl that looks like this, into Denny's for dinner? No, come on. I didn't know if you look a certain way, you don't you don't qualify for Denny's anymore or something. That's that's new to me. Come on, please start. Here we go again. When are you finally gonna get rid of this junk and get a nice car? Bella, I'm telling you, once this business takes off, I'm going to be able to take you wherever you want to go. How many times do I have to tell you that your stupid idea is not gonna work? <gasps> Look at that, she dogging on his shit pretty hard. And, you know, he's still, like, holding on to her like she's the best thing he's got. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Please, just... Have some faith in me. Stop acting like a loser. This is why you don't beg. <laughs> you see that? As soon as he pled, please give me some faith or, you know, believe in me. She straight up called him a loser. And I think most women see it that way, too. So I really hope nobody sees me in this crappy car. Oh, shit. He's gonna fucking propose. Hey, babe. What is going on here? I'm excited you're here. Oh, you were able to get the back you wanted. Yeah, well, I wonder you how. weren't gonna do it, so I had to take care of it myself. 
Well, well, I'm happy for you. Anyways, um, take a seat. So, babe, um, we've been together for almost a year now. I'm so... A year is a little too early, in my opinion, to try to want to pop the question. Because uh, he has no clue who this bitch is. <laughs> Grateful to have you in my life. I can't imagine my life without you. So, Bella. So, this is the really the scarcity mindset, right? Like, he literally, the things that he says, the things, how she treats him, he still thinks that this is the best person he can get. And this is why he's willing to, you know, marry this chick. Will you marry me? What is that? Are you kidding? That doesn't even look like a two carat ring. It's so small. I, I know, and I want to give you the best of everything this world has to offer. I promise you, if you have some faith in me, once my business takes off, I will give you the stone of your dreams. Look, let's get one thing clear, okay? Your business is never gonna take off. And no, Ouch. I am not going to marry you, and I'm not gonna be caught wearing that tiny diamond on my finger. You know what? Estefan was right. You're never gonna change. Estefan. See, this was titled Gold Digger Dumps Broke Boyfriend, but I don't even think it's gold diggers. I think most women nowadays see this as the way to go. And I don't think they're like truly gold digging. They're not there truly for the money, but they do want that well-off life. And when someone can't provide it for them, they'd rather just go find someone that can, right? They don't want to wait for this guy to build himself up and be along there with him and through the struggles. Like, you know, like we, like the saying says, women just wait at the finish line, right? He's not at his finish line yet, so she doesn't want to struggle with them. She'd rather just go find someone else already that reached their finish line. Who's Estefan? Which the would be other Estefan. guy I'm seeing. <laughs> he didn't seriously think I was going to wait around until you get me the things that I really want. Yeah, monkey branching. We talk about this. As soon as um, women usually feel that this relationship isn't going anywhere or they already like, checked out of the relationship, they'll find somebody else and start dating them, start seeing them, start talking to them. And then as soon as this stuff happens, she already has another person. Who do you think got me this bag? Um, I don't understand. Babe, please, have, have See, definitely blue pill. He has no clue what's going on. Like, this is how a lot of men were probably 15 years ago before, you know, red pill took off as much as it did and, you know, the manosphere. Like, most men literally had no clue why women were leaving them. They literally didn't. Have some faith. No. I am done. I need a real man who can satisfy my needs. So you always come with that real man statement. Like, that's such a stupid statement. All men are real men, tell you the truth, right? Because they're men. I mean, are they good men? That's a different story. But just like that statement of, oh, he has to be a real man. So what, all these are just like fake men or just like fake penises and stuff or something like that? Like, the fuck? Good luck with your business, which is never going to take off. There's definitely one thing, man. If you're going to find someone, find someone that supports you. Someone that's like dogging your every move, questioning all your moves and thinking that you're not going to go anywhere. You need someone that supports you and like fights for you. John was devastated and couldn't believe that Bella had left him. Bella ends up going to Estefan and having a really good time with her new guy. She finally met someone who could take care of her needs and buy her expensive gifts. Meanwhile, John slowly got over the breakup and... This is what we tell you guys. Focus on your purpose. Focus on your business, your skills, your health, your looks. Just, just work on those things. Everything else comes with it. Really focused on his business. Before long, John met someone new that believed in him and wasn't in it for the money. Bella, on the other hand, comes to visit Estefan only to find out he's buying expensive gifts for another girl. Her life 
started going down while John's st- and this is when the the grass is greener syndrome uh, you know she always thinks the grass is greener until it's not right if you're gonna cheat on someone or you know see someone while you're seeing other people and that man like the, the chances of that man taking you seriously is so low he saw what you just did with your ex-boyfriend why the fuck would he take you seriously started going up his business ends up taking off then one day they happen to run into each other oh my god john hey bella long time no see this is how you should fucking act when you meet your fucking ex wow you look amazing is that a louis bag yeah, picked up a little something. I thought you didn't like Kate Spade. Oh, that's just for a friend. So it's the bag that she is he, this your she car? Yeah, just picked it up. Pretty nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> From a Honda Civic to a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Listen, I really can't stop thinking about you. I don't understand. This is the statement that I hear a lot and it seems to be true. I haven't experienced it myself yet, but uh, they always come back. I hear that statement a lot. They always come back. The women that probably treated you the worst and when you become successful, they almost always come back. Um, what about your new boyfriend, Stefan? The rich guy? Oh, that's over. He ended up... Anyway. Remember that ring you... Yeah, he ended up doing the same thing I did to you, to me. Got me. <laughs> I've been thinking, and actually, I'm I'm really fine with this up. There she is. <laughs> hey. You look beautiful. Mm. Oh, uh, let me introduce you. Bella, this is Rose. Rose Bella. We used to date like years ago. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. I didn't realize you had a new girlfriend. They never do. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm wrong. Some of them, they do stalk you pretty hard. I'm sure most women, if they really want to keep tabs on you, they'll know exactly if you're in a relationship or not, to tell you the truth. Actually, it's fiance. John proposed a week ago. Isn't it amazing? Ooh. I told him he didn't have to do so much. I want you to have everything you want in life, babe. Like a woman that doesn't care for the finer things in life, but supports her man, gets the finer things in life. Aw, thank you, baby. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Um, we're gonna be late for our dinner reservations. Right, we wouldn't want you missing the steak and wine. <laughs> um, it was not I swear to God, that was just a jab in her face. <laughs> nice seeing you, Bella. does she have that I don't? Well, she this is a question a lot of women ask when they're in this position. <laughs> yeah, what does she have that I don't have? Almost everything. You believed in me. You see, when you would get mad at me for not being able to buy you a designer bag, Rose would get mad at me for buying her any bag at all. She wanted me to invest my money in the business instead. And when you would get upset at me when I couldn't buy you expensive dinners, Rose would get upset at me if I tried to take her out at all. She would cook me homemade meals so I could focus on my work. And when you left me for not buying you a big enough diamond, Rose stood by my side waiting patiently until my business took off so I could finally buy her the ring she deserved. So you see, she believed in me when I had nothing. So now I want to give her everything. And this is most men. If the woman stuck by their side when they're struggling the way, you know, he struggles in this, 
I don't think most men would look at that significant other other than with reverence. Tell the truth. Like this person is stuck by you when you were poor, when you were struggling. Not only that, she made sure you you excelled. Like, you know, made him save money, told him to save money, cooked for him, and did those little things, right? It's crazy that a woman can do that, right? That's what a lot of women say. Oh, I built the man. Very few actually do. Most just wait at the finish line. Tell you the truth, this guy would have probably been successful without her, right? Just the way his work ethic was and everything. But also no, because if he would have found another girl just like this one, he would have done the exact same thing, buying her expensive bags that he couldn't afford yet. You know, taking her to expensive meals that he couldn't afford yet. Where the one that he did end up with told him to hold off on those things. There's a big difference that could change the trajectory of how fast this man can be successful. And a woman does that. It's good seeing you, Bella. How was that, Chow? Like I said, that was an was awesome story. I think a lot it resonates with a lot of men. Uh, maybe not in particular of the business and things like that, but just women, how they view men when they're struggling to get to where they are. All right. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao time.